Hello, lovely people. It's Leah, and welcome to part six of 13 Days of Halloween. First thing to note, I'm a blue head again. This color is honestly so vibrant. It is exactly the color I wanted. So I'm glad I put my hair through the ringer and made it almost fall out of my head to achieve it. I'm not fully done with it though. When my hair was blonde, I did definitely over process the root area. So you can see like up close, the root is not taking the color as well as on the rest of my hair. And what happens then, like when your roots are way brighter, it almost makes it look like your hair is thinning because it's still sort of blonde at the root. You can see your scalp a lot better. I'm not a big fan of how it looks. So the first event on the docket for today's video is to add a dark brown root to my hair. So we're gonna step into the bathroom very shortly to do that. But first let's pull our next advent calendar gift and talk about the tarot card. And we've got some fun Halloween adventuring I did around Vegas towards the end of this video. So let's start with the tarot card. I actually did pull it before I started recording and I pulled the reverse Knight of Cups. This card's fun because I pulled the Knight of Cups unreversed a couple of weeks ago. I was thinking about something, I was thinking about acting on an impulse that I had, and I pulled the Knight of Cups, and based on what the Knight of Cups said, it made me think that acting on this impulse that I'd been thinking about that day was a good idea. So, long story short, I didn't end up acting on the impulse that I had. I had this really strong impulse. I felt like the card was telling me to go for it. I didn't go for it. Now, today, I was thinking about it again, the same impulse I didn't act on, and I pulled the Knight of Cups reversed. Now let's read what that says. The Knight of Cups reversed indicates latent qualities in you or the situation in question. You are holding back from taking action or expressing your emotions. There is a block in your emotional, creative, or spiritual life. I know I didn't give a ton of details on the story, but based on what I did say, kind of spooky, that both days I pulled the Knight of Cups, I was thinking about the same thing, and the first time the unreversed card is like, yeah, go for it. And the reverse version is like, bro, why didn't you go for it? <laughs> so that's cool. All right, let's get to Kelly's haunted house. Door number six, which is down here. Oh, there's a little ghosty playing the piano. This whole thing is so well designed. Oh my God, I love these shiny little iridescent ones I pulled. This one's called Haunted Symphony and it's like a purple with blue shimmery iridescent things. Will these look good together? Ooh, these would, I think. That'd be a cute Manny, maybe. Okay, let's get into the bathroom and finally finish this hair. One more step and we got it. And then some Halloween themed Vegas adventuring. I'm a little worried I used too much developer and not enough color, but let's go for it. We've got four sections here and we're just trying to get the roots. Oh, actually this is fun. You're gonna wanna see this. It's a good thing I'm doing my roots because I missed some spots in the back. Yikes. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna try to cover that up. Doing the back will be fun. And cue the time-lapse.
Finally, my hair is the color I've been wanting it for a very long time. This blue compared to the blue I had before is so much more vibrant, so much brighter. And the color underneath is that nice pale yellow. So this will fade not to a mucky green, just to like a lighter version of this. Also, the roots came out great. Very happy with how that looks. And as promised, for making you sit through yet another hair dye video, earlier today, I went to Nightmare Cafe and Nightmare Toys. And here's your look at that. I have a friend out here in Vegas named Nicole Vegas. She is a film producer. So she was just getting some other film people together at the cafe. Brett Wagner, who played one of the leather faces, was there as well. He was in town working a haunt and signing autographs. Him and I have the same appearance agent, Sean Clark, so it was very nice to see him. And this was my first time at the cafe. One thing I noted was that the menu items were all some sort of horror pun. Always appreciate a good pun. I'm here with Brett Wagner. Hey, you man. might know him from, um, uh, I was gonna say Nightmare on Elm Street, that's not it. Would, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I wouldn't mind being there. Yeah, wish right, him. next time we'll next manifest time. it. We'll hey, manifest listen, we're down it. here at yeah. Nightmare Cafe, and now Leah's gonna go check out Nightmare Toys Nightmare for the first time. Never been there. All right, oh, see you guys inside. And we also stopped by Nightmare Toys to see Christy and check out the shop, another place I'd never been before. And the location of Nightmare Toys and Nightmare Cafe is, in my opinion, one of the better places. In the more commercialized part of Vegas, you have the Strip, and then above the Strip, you have downtown, which, you know, doesn't make any sense because it's north of the Strip, but anyway. That is where Nightmare Cafe is located. They've got some cool thrift shops around that area, a lot of great places to eat, so I definitely want to go back. And thank you for coming along for another video. This was part six of 13 Days of Halloween. And I promise you no more hair dye videos in this series. We're sticking with this for a while. I think this is very much in the Halloween theme. Honestly, any brightly colored hair is in the Halloween theme, in my opinion. Well, if you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, turn on the notifications so you can get notified when a new video goes live. Next video, we will be halfway through the series, halfway to Halloween. There's still so so much more in store for the rest of this month. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.